what is up everybody welcome back to real time i'm rob i'm bryce and i'm zuff and today we are back with peaky blinders this is season three episode one last episode obviously the end of season two a lot of storylines came to an end seemingly to an end biggest thing i'll talk about campbell died screw him campbell is gone uh he was taken out at the races by none other than aunt paul i was really really happy to see that it was her to be the one to kill him because of what he did to her and just how awful he was to her and her son so it was pretty pretty satisfying seeing campbell go out like that and yeah i'm just really excited to uh have a have a season where we don't have to worry about that guy with um grace and may being left behind and obviously thomas got captured and he was gonna he wants to marry someone he told um michael at the end i we don't know who it is it could be may or it could be grace i think it's may because grace feels like the super obvious answer but grace is pregnant with tommy's baby so it makes sense if he wanted to marry her but he left them both behind they probably are not happy about that they might think that he picked the other girl because they did have a little conversation with each other but this is i don't know that's really cool that tommy wants to marry someone i want to see that wedding bad and hopefully it happens this season yeah that was definitely probably the closest in this show so far i mean he's he's been close a few times actually but probably the closest most convincing that he uh tommy was gonna die he was out there with uh campbell's men he hired like his hitmen and they literally already had dug a grave and had him like on his knees ready to shoot him all with their guns out and obviously the one guy pulled his out killed the other two men he was working with and said that winston churchill will want to meet with tommy here soon he has a job for him so i just i don't know it's kind of crazy that that's how he got saved and now in the future he'll be working with winston churchill like he must really think highly of tommy or, or be pretty confident that he can carry out some jobs for him but that was just a crazy way to save him i honestly was very confused how he was getting out of that and that was probably the only possible way yeah i agree i feel like this season with out campbell it's gonna be just i don't even care what the plot is it's just gonna be so much better not seeing him so i'm very excited about that all right, guys, that's pretty much it before we do get into the episode. If you have been liking all the Peaky Blinders reactions, please leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe. Check out the links in our description as well. We have our Patreon, Discord, all of our social medias, our second channel, and our P.O. Box. Make sure to check all those out. With all that being said, we're going to get right into the episode. Peaky Blinders, Season 3, Episode 1. Let's go. Oh, two-year time jump. Yeah, that's how the last season started, too. Oh, God, he's going to... Oh, oh, who is it? Wedding bells. Uh oh, Michael. That's Ada's kid. I know, but just uh, like seeing him. Yeah, I thought you were like, oh, he's a kid. Who's that? The right. I don't know. Oh, that's who it is. Arthur's girl. Yeah. Blinders are all looking good right now. I think it's meh. Uh, that's what he said. I'm pretty sure this episode has like the most popular clip of the entire show. Really? Yeah. I, I, if I'm correct, I think this is the episode. I mean, I don't, just, know. I don't think it could be Grace because of what she did to the family. I don't know. And it does look like Grace. Who do you think it is, Bryce? Dude, I'm. I don't. I don't know. Are these guys like Irish or what? They, she just had soldiers like lined up as her family. Grace. Grace. Oh. I didn't think it was gonna be Grace. We did them both. So they have a child. Yeah. Thomas Michael Shelby and Grace Helen Burton. Hey, 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 there's our kid. <laughs> Damn, dude, they're balling out. <laughs> hey, 
They went to New York. (laughs) Dude, we've missed so much. Is she more blonde than usual? I think she did her hair up, yeah. Dude, their haircuts are insane. Johnny boys. Yeah, it's not the best. Picture time. The fam. Look at that family. There's so many of them now. Johnny fans. Who's he looking at? I mean, he's probably something with Vincent Churchill. Maybe that's why there's a bunch bunch of soldiers. I don't want there to be anything with May if he picked Grace. Like, I just want her to be done. <laughs> ben again. Ben's looking large again. What are we doing in the kitchen? Everybody meet in the kitchen. Where's Billy? You do anything, it's up to what? What about snow? Yeah, they're women of sports, I'll say that. No, no, no. No cocaine. They love the cocaine. Tommy wants no bullshit today. But the main thing is, you bunch of fuckers, despite the provocation from the cavalry, no fighting. Oh yeah, I do know this clip, I think. No fighting. No fucking fighting. No fighting. No fucking fighting! That, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've definitely seen that before. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) That's great. No fighting. Grace, you need it downstairs. People are hungry. I threw Charles to sleep. Charles? I need you to tell me that it's business making you like this and not regret over me. Say it out loud and I'll know if it's true. Damn. She thinks he's regretting it? It's the day of. It's business, Grace. I'm sorry. I want to know what he's got himself caught up into. Yeah, so what are you been, scared of, Tom? It's been two years, and they said Churchill wants to work with him that long ago. Like, what has he been doing for him? Stand up, stand up, stand up. Arthur's speech. I'm scared of fucking Arthur's speech. <laughs> I'm excited for Arthur's speech. <laughs> yeah. My brother. My brother, Tom. Tommy, what are you doing? Tell me. Tommy. Couldn't help noticing you are in public. I also am alone. May I join? Who is this guy? He looks like a vampire. Was he the one that was looking at Tommy outside the wedding doors? You're drunk. Does he not does he not drink much anymore? Maybe this girl has his head on his shoulders for him. Helping him. Why mention this in my speech then? I'm a refugee. From where? Russia. I knew it, bro. He's Russian. Thomas has developed some business interests with Russia. I see he has confided in you. Hmm. What is he doing? Russia. My senior position within the Shelby company means I don't often have to ask permission from anyone to do anything. I mean, this guy's giving bad vibes. Why the fuck you're talking Russian business on Thomas's wedding day? Tell him, Paul. We did checks on him. He's had five different names in the last six years, and he's got connections with the Naples boys. Damn. What do you know about love? About when lightning strikes? Six different last names? Come on. I thought you were off the whiskey off the iron. I'm having a couple now and again to remind myself why I don't drink it. That doesn't sound like a good idea. <laughs> you got the order. Same as us. 
Till further notice. No fraternizing with the foreigners. They're not trusting outsiders right now. Yeah, when you can tell Tommy from me all the girls in the office think he's losing his fucking mind. Sounds dangerous again. I like to, um, I'm not one for speeches. Sing then. <laughs> I will later. This doesn't in include everything that I want to say. Oh, that just, uh, just me. Okay. <laughs> I will first uh, a few words from from the heart. <laughs> <laughs> this man here, my brother Tommy, helped me survive through some of the worst times. <clears throat> it's a wedding, Arthur. Tell a joke. <laughs> Let him say what he wants to say, bro. My 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 brother and love of a good woman. Pulled me through that time. Dude, he's being so was... sincere. Uh, to love, to peace, to marriage, and to marriage. Ah, I wanted to hear what he had to say. Tommy's such a dick sometimes. So so bad. We talked about this, Arthur. That's why we wrote it all down. Most the grace is signed. Don't even know what it was we killed. Oh shit. We didn't know that, did we? Uh uh. What do you think I am, Tommy? Eh? You think I'm a fucking idiot? Oh, boys. You know, oh, you stay away from me. You know. What you are they doing? <laughs> oh. Run, Arthur, run! The Russians have made contact. For them, family is a weakness, and they go after them. For me, family is my strength, and there's business to be done. And I need you. You're my best man. Every fucking day. He always kind of redeems it. Still was a fucked up thing to do. The future. It's not always right to listen to Linda. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like she's doing him well. From all the small amount we've yeah. seen. You won't need to unless you give us the name. Not now. We were told to ask for code name and contact was made. Constant. The code is constant. I feel like Grace would be pissed if she found out he was doing yeah. this oh, shit yeah. at the wedding. Definitely. Tommy's doing business now, eh? He should be just fucking. <laughs> Finn's just racing a soldier. A soldier? Oh. One of the cavalry guys? Like, oh, yeah. These guys? They're gonna end up fighting. Same shit the Turks used to smoke. I wonder. Why does he trust his aunt more than his brother? He's gonna try to break them apart, he said. Yep, family's the weakness. So you might contact on my wedding day. You're not a very powerful enemy. You best be quick or I'll be missed towards the money. The Duke's niece is bringing up from London. Dude, he is deep in this. There's a cavalry officer stationed in Salon. When his tour of duty ends in March, we'll be engaged. So... I have a bright future to you. Alright, alone with Michael right now? Keep it. As if I were a whore. What's that's the game you wanna play? Uh oh. Michael! I know Tommy really wants to keep certain names a secret from me. It's very hard on your man and wife. They were later coming down because we were having sex. <laughs> what? Royalist Russians buying weapons. Oh, so she knows. And Churchill, but he's a gold dream. But it's against government policy, so everything must be kept a secret. Well, they're selling the Russians weapons. They started the business tonight. No. He's not into that. On my wedding day. Let's not forget I used to do this for a living. <laughs> yeah, she can keep oh, a secret. I forgotten, sweetheart. Send Thomas has forgotten what you are. The bride and the groom will now dance alone. How was it if he's so lamented? Polly 
you just tell me that the business being done? I didn't ask him to come. Tell me, please, don't let anything happen tonight. Oh, nothing would ever happen. Don't worry. Peaky Blinders stuff, always super chill. Promise me. Hmm? Waiting there. I promise. Lost, lost in a heat of it all. Charles will never see a gun. I do not believe that. You keep us safe. She's I'll dead right here, isn't she? I promise. She's dead, Bryce. I'll make a sign. I don't think she's gonna make it past episode one. <laughs> so, mate? Off there. Oh, that's the copper? Mm -hmm. Moss. Then, Duchess, I introduce you to the uh, Shelby Brothers, Small Leith, Birmingham. Weren't they selling weapons to Russians to fight the Georgians? Good luck with this one, Tom. I have no clue. Give me the money. <laughs> <laughs> I was told to give it to Mr. Culligan. Whoever it is up there, he gave the wrong name. We asked him the name. And I gave the wrong one. What name did he give? No. Constantine. Yeah. I know Mr. Kaladin by sight from Tbilisi. Is his hair dark? The instructions I was given was anyone using the wrong code name was an infiltrator for the Soviet embassy. And you do this to me on my fucking wedding day. The money is in the car, Mr. Shelby. What? <laughs> this girl sketches me out. I wouldn't take a single risk with any of these people. Yeah. We're good. That was quick. You can go, Moss. Can you do it? Can you kill? Uh, yeah. You take the Duchess back to Birmingham. Lots out, so. Come on, love. So who is the guy in Tommy's house? Kalidin. I think they're Russian, right? But is he supposed to be there? So we kill him. He's a red. Oh. They've been paid by the whites. It's part of the contract. Contract. So they have to kill that guy. We should never have got into this town. Factory breaking. That's what she said. Yeah. And that's what it is. It's just some shit that goes with it. And who shovels it? Hmm? You do. <laughs> and we've never earned money like this. Never. We'll use it to buy the wharf at Boston Docks. Come on, brother. It's my wedding night. Come on, babe. They're gonna have to kill one of the people, maybe in Grace's family. Grace's family? Why? Isn't a red an Irishman? No, I Russian. think it's a... Yeah. Soviet. They're, tar they're talking about the guy, the Russian guy, because he gave the wrong code name. So who the fuck is he? He probably doesn't want to kill anymore because of his <laughs> newfound uh, love of God. Ada and this guy? Crimea. I mean, before I bored you with war. <laughs> Isn't she, like, genuinely into a lot of this stuff? Yeah. Like, she's not on the, the only one Shelby side of the family. Communist. Well, some of them are. They just don't know it. Is she, like, maybe continuing, like, Freddy's yeah. beliefs? Well, what does that mean? It means, yeah, we're a close family. Okay, Arthur. There is a woman here to see you, Mr. Claddy. She just arrived. So Tatiana made her from London City? Yes. Where is she? Out by the stables. She literally asks, I know him like physically, does he have dark hair? This guy does not have dark hair. Was that girl's name Tatiana either? I don't think that's the name though. I don't know.
Damn, Johnny boy. <laughs> Just gambling and shit. Betting on racing and boxing. They're rather like generals in your army. Watching our men do battle. A bit too close to the fighting to be generals, surely. <laughs> Michael? Jeez. Oh, He's having a very different night from everybody else. Arthur, you gotta be careful, bro. He's biting him. Classic. Oh! Oh! They searched him. They didn't find that. Uh uh. Oh, he's getting to him. Why did Arthur have to do it? He's he a sho dog. He shovels the shit. Taking that body oh, away. I wonder what's uh, under that tarp. Don't worry about what happened with the speech. That's not what he's worried about. Probably the missing finger he has. Did he bite it off? It looked like it. <laughs> Tommy is a dad. Just a crazy sight. Are they burning the body? Because I know you said make a fire big enough for meat. Yeah, I think so. And that looks like teeth. Yeah, they say if you burn a body, the only thing that stays back is the teeth, I think. Damn, I love those cars. They're sick. They each have their own. That's just so badass. Damn, we got a bank vault here now? Holy shit. We, we are loaded. Absolutely loaded. And you're willing to gamble it all on one robbery? Oh shit. Red right hand man with a stand in his fan. Yeah, I mean, obviously we got the uh, two-year time jump, like I think we did in the season one and season two, but there is a lot different, like a ton different um, right now. Obviously, this episode was Tommy's wedding. He did get married to Grace, and it just did not really go probably how she wanted to. I'm sure like he probably had an inkling that something like this could happen. It seems like his life is completely different. Like... Before, I feel like it was just him working, like fighting against other gangs and people in England. But now, like, he's getting involved with the government, like the Russians, the Georgians. Like, that is just not, it just seems 10 times more dangerous. Like, the one dude said, You're being watched. Like, everywhere you're at, we're watching you. So, if that's the case, like, it makes me uh, fearful for. Tommy and specifically his loved ones because if he does something if he wrongs someone like I feel like they'll easily just knock off someone or maybe multiple people in his family but it's cool seeing him as a dad now that the, the time jump he like they actually have a baby now that, that uh, Grace was talking about her husband killed himself unfortunately probably just did not like to hear that news and yeah, it's gonna be very interesting seeing the dynamic go forward. Tommy being a married father, like that is just an insane thought, but um, it's definitely a different change of pace and I'm excited to see how it goes. I mean, yeah, that was a crazy episode. I don't know if that was Tommy's house they were at or it was some sort of a stake because they did go back to Birmingham at the end. 
a lot happen in that place. Obviously, Tommy's got himself into Russian business now. Um, and there was a Russian there who was undercover that ended up getting killed by Arthur. And Arthur's living this new life now, too. He is um, very religious. Found his a new girl who seems to be good for him, Linda. I like them together. I like how Arthur's trying to turn this new page. But I feel like that's not a very good thing to do if you're... I mean, he, I, he had to do it. He killed someone, but I don't know how that might set him back from this new path he's on. But just a crazy episode. I like seeing... I mean, it's going to be hard dealing with all this. It just with a son now, Tommy, and a wife. Like, I feel like it is. He is scared for them, and I, very rightfully so. Yeah, the stakes are always getting higher in this show. Every season, it feels like Tommy wants more and more out of the business the peaky blinders in general i mean he's said in the past like one more job like just this one more time it's never just one more time he he, he always has this craving for success just to be bigger and better and i mean with his track record like i understand like why he bets on himself because he usually wins uh we saw this absolute hoard of money inside of their office and Holly said something about gambling it all on one single robbery and I don't think we know what that is but I mean that amount of money to risk seems pretty crazy but uh, knowing Thomas he always has a plan and he usually comes out on top all right guys well that is pretty much it for this episode if you have been liking all the peaky blinders reactions please leave a like drop a comment and subscribe check out all the links in our description as well we have our patreon discord all of our social medias our second channel and our po box make sure to check those out with all that being said we'll see you next time for peaky blinders season three episode two peace out